Hey, welcome to the video. Here we're going to uh, set up a very simple hub and spoke frame relay multi-point topology. Um, let's get started. So you will need a few routers. Um, this will be our hub. Have a few spokes. Of course, our frame relay switch. Let's change the name of this guy, we'll call it router1. Alright, and what we need to do first is actually configure the ports on the frame relay switch and also configure the DLCs that are going to be associated with those ports. So let's make this a little bit bigger. Um, so port one is going to be associated with router one and we'll use a DLC 101 which will um, be associated uh, with router two. Um, and then we'll use port 2, which is going to be a local interface on the frame relay switch. Um, and we'll use a local DLC of 202. Um, similar, uh, we're going to do similar thing for uh, the communication between router 1 and router 3. Port 1 is going to uh, remain, and then we'll just use del C number one and two going to port three del C of 303 configure so port one was for router one port two for router two and port three for router three Enable our devices. Take a second for it to boot up and we can start configuring. So we'll start with router one. Okay, uh, first thing we need to do is configure the serial interface um, with the encapsulation type, the IP address uh, that we're gonna use and uh, the free frame relay mapping. So we'll start with the encapsulation type. Encapsulation frame relay. Then we can create the sub interface. Configure the IP address. And then configure the frame relay mappings, IP to del C numbers. So that was the frame relay mapping between uh, del C 101, local del C of router one. Uh, map to the IP address of router two. And we're going to do the same thing uh, for router or the for the del C and IP mapping between router one and router three. All right, so that's all set up. Currently, if we want to verify the PVCs, uh, we should see it inactive. And yes, we do see that, oops, that we did configure two. Um, currently, they're not talking to any or they're not seeing any um, um, PVCs up and operational at this time. So let's go ahead and configure router two. Is that 
C, two slides here. So again, encapsulation time. Frame relay. Um, then, I, then create the subinterface. And then configure the IP address. Then created the mappings um, between router one and router two, and router two and router three. Forgot the DLC number. And this is going to be local DLC of 202. Okay. So show frame relay PVC currently inactive. Um, might take it a little bit to come up. Um, um, we'll come back to it. Close this guy, let's configure router three. Encapsulation, frame relay, create the inner sub interface. Configure the IP. and then create the frame relay mappings. All right. One other thing is I just realized all the interfaces, all the serial interfaces are currently shut down. So we definitely do need to enable those in order for this to work. So let's take a look at the frame relay PVCs. Show frame relay PVC. Currently you see that they're actually deleted. It's just going through the normal process of actually communicating with the other um, PVCs that were created on router two and three. As I start communicating, and this could take a little bit sometimes few minutes is pretty normal. Okay, we see router two came up, so let's go back to router one. And we can see both PVCs are up. The 101, which we created to communicate between router 1 and router 2, and 102, um, let's see 102, uh, to communicate between router 1 and router 3. Now, the ultimate test is going to be can we ping between devices? So, uh, ultimately, let's go to router 2 and let's see if we can ping router 3 from there. 192.168.1.3, and indeed we can. Thank you for watching.